A good decision by TaylorMade Sales Agency paid dividends Tuesday at the phasing Tipton October sale when they sold a $500,000 violin yearling to John Oxley. The Ontario bred was the highest priced yearling since 2013 to sell at phasing Tipton October. Pin hooked as a $180,000 weanling from the Keeneland November sale, he was bought back in August from Phasing Tipton Saratoga for $270,000. I'll give Frank and Katie Taylor all the credit in the world. Uh, at Saratoga this year, Frank said, you know, I love that horse today we bought him. Uh, he was not at his absolute best at Saratoga. He liked just a tiny bit of maturity, he said. And he told me in Saratoga, I'm going to top your October sale with this horse. I love this horse. And he's going to do nothing but continue to improve. Mark Cassie signed the ticket on the Colt, who is out of the grade three placed mare, which is Coven. He's a picture, he's a picture to look at. Uh, that was a lot of money for him, it was. I, I, I didn't really think he'd bring quite that much, but he did and uh, luckily uh, Mr. Oxley was game as we know he is. Violence has done nothing but improve his reputation since August anyway, so it really was fortuitous that we didn't get him sold. I mean, he almost got there at, at Saratoga and then it was lucky that it didn't. He's just, a, he's just a real big, powerful colt, great neck and shoulder, good walk, and he's kind of everything you look for. As overall numbers improved over day one and over the same session a year ago, Mark Taylor said this sale is an emotional roller coaster. This is one of the only places we sell where you literally have $500,000 horses and $5,000 horses selling like back to back. So, you know, it's like this crazy schizophrenic uh, ride through the day where you're just like, you know, people are high-fiving and then people are like handing out handkerchiefs and crying and stuff. So it's, it, you know, it's, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly all right here together. Some people just want to go roll in that mud pit that's out there in the middle of the thing because they can't get their horses sold. But, you know, that's the reality of the market. It's expensive to train horses. It's expensive to maintain horses. And... Some of them at the lower levels, it's just hard to get them sold, but I think it's better today. As we move closer to the end of yearling season, expect buyers to pick up the pace and we'll be here tomorrow to cover the action.